Um, oh, oh, just you. Okay. Okay, you can join in. You can, you'll be all right. There you go. Bit of moral support. Okay, thanks for stopping. What's your names? Jake. And Emily. Emily, I'm Mark here. Yeah, thanks for stopping. Can we have your permission to film and display on all media platforms? We have to ask. Yeah, are you over the age of 16? Yes. yes you are. Good. Okay. Are you open minded? I'd like to think so, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, here's the big question What do you think happens to you after you die? Do you think it was going to be that? Well, yeah. and, and then I get nice overwhelmed moments. and I get too scared to yeah. think about it anymore. I stop myself from thinking yeah. about it. It's a massive question, isn't it? You know, we hear lots of different responses on this. We hear reincarnation, we hear energy, heaven, hell. You know, what's what's your thoughts? I'm a bit spiritual. And I don't know. I try my hardest not to think about it. I think I'm worried that I'm going to be bored. What about if I'm just alive and I'm just lying there bored? That really scares me. What, in your coffin, six foot under? And I'm just lying Ooh. there. That scares <laughs> yeah, me, like, but you like never know. Bang in the yeah. You never know. I like to think there's somewhere we go when we die. Like, I used to be kind of scared of death, but I mean, it's quite peaceful, really. You think? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I think, there's, I think there's somewhere we all go when we die. Yeah. So, if there's a heaven, if, are you good enough to get in the gates? I'm unsure. He's, he's at the gates. He's asking me. I'll come to that. Do you think you're good enough? Or do you think there's a standard that you have to reach down here? Like, I think if you're a good person, I think maybe. Yeah. yeah. And are you good? A good person. Yeah, I think. It's going to come to that. Everyone makes yeah. mistakes, so I think as long I'll as you li as long as you live a meaningful life, you're nice to people. Like you should be all right to get in, as long as you're not doing anything too bad. I mean, there's over 40 definitions of the word "good" in the dictionary. But the number one is moral perfection. Would you say you're morally perfect? No, no, no one's, one's perfect. Mistake. Nobody's Anyone perfect. Is. Everyone makes mistakes, and you don't know it's a mistake until you've done it. I think that's what life's all about, though, making mistakes. To become a better person. If you don't make the mistakes or fail, you're never going to become this better, better person, are you? Yeah, exactly. So, I'm going to appeal to your open-mindedness yeah. now, right? Yeah. And I'm going to come at this from the angle of the Bible. Yeah. And the Bible gives us an interesting take on it that you may not have heard before. So just be open. Okay, so the Bible says it's appointed once for you to die, and then comes the judgment. Yeah. Think courtroom, think court yeah. case, you know. Okay, and the standard by which the Bible says we're going to be judged is the Ten Commandments. Have you heard of the Ten Commandments? Can you give me one each? Don't steal. The do not murder, is that one? That's good, yeah, that's good. Okay, so I'm going to take you through four of them now, quickly. I failed all ten, so I'm not in any judgment over you. All right, but if you've got a court case coming up, and it's true, you want to know what the judge is going to judge you by, yeah? Okay, so have you ever told a lie? Yeah. Yeah. Me too. What do you call someone who's told a lie? A liar. Have you ever stolen anything, no matter how small it was, from when you were down there? Um, Earlier. No, Jake. No. Downloaded music off the internet, that wasn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's called stealing, that's theft. <laughs> a lot of people say, you know, they, they say, oh, I'm not a thief, but they, they've done that one. What do you call somebody who steals? A thief. Okay, here's one that got me big time, and Jesus really raised the bar high. He said, if you look at a woman with lust, or a guy with lost sexual desire that you've committed adultery with them in your heart even before the action it starts in the heart have you ever looked at a woman with lust yeah yeah okay one more have you ever used god's name as a swear word like omg or jc yeah of course yeah yeah of course yeah do you know what that one's called in the bible um, blasphemy You've had, a, you've had a little bit of a Christian upbringing or background? Yeah, Christian, but I don't practice. Okay. I've got some Christian friends, but they don't practice as well. Yes, yes. Okay, so the Bible puts us all in the same boat. I mean, by your own admission, you've told me you're a lying, thieving, blasphemous, that's murderer. That's really nice. And that's only four of the commandments. It's like a mirror to show us that we're all filthy dirty before a holy God. And how do we get out of the dilemma if we're going to get judged in the court by that standard? We've all, we've all had it. Would you say that's reasonable? And the Bible says this, it says all liars, all thieves, blasphemers will have their part in the lake of fire. I don't want to be cast alive into the lake of fire, which the Bible says will happen. So I'll give you the hard news to give you the good news. Yeah. Any idea what the good news is, what God's personally done for you so that you wouldn't have to face hell? No, I don't. You've had a Christian upbringing, you should know this. Uh, I, I, don't I know that God forgives. You're part of the way there. 
do you have a question? So we, we need to be heading off. Oh, I'm just going to round it off. Okay, quickly, uh, forgiveness. So if you were in the, Bur uh, the Birmingham Crown Court for lying, stealing, murder, blasphemy, and you said to the judge, yeah, come on, judge. I know I've done those things, but you're a forgiving judge. You should let me go. The judge will say, you're having a laugh. Yeah. He's got a sentence based on the crimes. 2,000 years ago, when Jesus was on that cross, he was legally paying your courtroom fine. Yeah. Based on the laws that we've broken, his laws, he took your punishment on himself, died and rose again on the third day because death legally couldn't hold him down. And he said three words quickly, just, just before he died, he said, it is finished, which is a legal term for price paid in full. So your price was paid in full by the death and the resurrection of the saviour. You can basically go scot-free, yeah? If you're in the family, like my daughter, she's only three years old. Yeah. If she does something something bad, you know, I'll have to, you know, correct her for it. Course, yeah. But she's still my daughter. Yeah. You know, she's in my family. Yeah. Once you get into God's family, it's like that. It's like a father-son yeah. daughter relationship. You know, yes, we'll mess up, but you've got a loving father who will always forgive you. You know, if we confess our sins and. Amazing Grace, have you heard that song? Yeah. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. We're saved by God's grace, not by our own yeah. works. So... Can we head off now? Yeah. You got a Bible at home? Um, yeah, I've got Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Thanks for stopping, yeah. All right, thanks.